Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I just wanted to do a fun little video with you guys. A couple days ago on my Instagram, I got the idea to ask you guys if you had any unpopular opinions. And I said that I was gonna react to a couple of them on Instagram, but actually I kind of decided that I wanted to react to them on here. Every once in a while, I like to do videos, whether it's by myself or with my friends, of like, would you rather, or silly questions, or whatever. Um, and I feel like I haven't done one in a while, and so I just wanted to do this video with you guys today, looking at your unpopular opinions that you sent in to me and me basically reacting to them and uh, telling you if I agree or if I think that you are out of your mind. And so if you just wanna watch this silly little video, really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Okay, so let's just get right into it. There, I don't need any longer intro than the one I already just had, which was already too long. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. It's just Katie Carney over there, um, which is my name if you didn't know that already. Um, yeah, but sometimes on my Instagram, I'll ask you guys to be part of a Q&A, or I will just ask you guys for your advice or for ideas, or I'll just ask you guys silly questions or whatever. And so this time I was like, I kind of want to ask what their unpopular opinions are. And some of the ones that I shared on my Instagram, my unpopular opinions were that I think football is boring boring and there are one or two others i already forget them what did i say oh that uh lobster is not good i don't like it i don't like lobster i've had it twice don't like it um and then i think bloody mary's are just alcoholic like tomato sauce drinks that honestly i don't understand why you don't put on spaghetti i do not understand have i ever had a bloody mary no <laughs> but my idea of it and when i see it i'm like this is just alcoholic tomato sauce why am I not putting this on spaghetti and then eating spaghetti and getting a little tipsy not that I can have any of that anymore but you know what I mean anyway so those are a couple of mine but I just wanted to read some of yours so let's go let's get into reacting let's be a little dramatic okay somewhat immediately misty misty baby I love you but you just said that you don't like the Beatles so I don't know how we can be friends <laughs> How? Okay, 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 okay. My thing with the Beatles, I grew up listening to the Beatles all the time. Both my parents are huge Beatles fans. Um, and then like me and like my brother became huge Beatles fans. We were actually literally in a Beatles cover band for a while. Me and my brother, my brother and I, my brother and I were in a Beatles cover band for a while. So we were like a really big Beatles family. I understand that oldies or like old school rock and roll is not everyone's type of music. I understand that. But if someone says that they don't even like respect respect or understand the Beatles, I have a hard time. I have a hard time with it. I have a hard time with it. I still have a hard time if someone said they don't like the Beatles. That I have a hard time with too. But if they're like, oh, but it's just not really my genre of music, but like I respect what they did for the music industry, then I can, you know, it doesn't make me as angry. But someone who's just like, no, the Beatles suck. Can you be honest that maybe you're just trying to be cool? Because the Beatles are so popular and you're just like, oh, I'm cool. I don't want to like the Beatles. <laughs> We're starting off real spicy because I can't snap really, especially not with this hand. A little bit over there. I'm starting off real spicy because I am very defensive about the Beatles. I love them. I love them. The knitting chef said that volleyball isn't a sport. It's just like, let's have one team stand there while the other team has the ball. Okay. <laughs> I still think it's a sport because it's still just offense defense right like if you're playing hockey only like one team technically has the puck at a time so I still think it's a sport I think volleyball is a sport I definitely did fracture my wrist playing volleyball once though when I was like 11 I have really tiny wrists and I'm 36 so imagine how tiny they were when I was like 11 and I just went to go hit the ball I think I was playing at like a neighbor's house for like a fourth of July party or something like that and I went to hit the ball like this and the ball went like this and my wrist went, nope, no thank you, thank you very much, and then fractured. And then I um, couldn't play, I think I was gonna play the saxophone in summer band that year, but I couldn't play it, so they gave me uh, the bass drum. It was just one of those like big ones that's like vertical like this, and I just did this all summer band. But anyway, I think volleyball is a sport. I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that one too. Yeah. Wonderful said chocolate anything is a no for me. Chocolate anything? Okay, here's the thing. I'm not the biggest chocolate fan. It's not like my favorite food in the world, but I do like chocolate. But like chocolate nothing. Like you don't like Reese's peanut butter cups. Like, are you sure? Like how, how do you, are, mm, no, I don't understand that. I don't understand, I don't, I don't get that one. I don't, I don't get that one at all. I don't get that one at all. Nikki said that summer is the worst season. Nikki, you're the worst season. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel like sometimes lately, especially, I've been hiding 
the more spicier side of me, but I really do like to be like silly and spicy and like dramatic for like silly reasons. But then sometimes like I get nervous doing it in a video because I'm sure someone's gonna be like, oh my God, Katie, you're being mean. And it's like, no, I'm just trying to be silly. Anyway, Nikki, summer's not the worst season. That might depend where you live. So where do you live? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what your favorite season is because I just talked about this on Instagram the other day. Like I think fall is super overrated. I don't like fall. Fall is my least favorite season. Sometimes the weather, the crisp, of like being a little bit cool, that is nice. But everything else about fall, I'm just not a fall girl. I'm not a pumpkin spice girl. I do like pumpkin flavor things, but I'm not like a coffee girl. I'm not like a sweater and boots girl. I'm just like not a fall girl. That's just not my thing. I think summer is the best season depending where you are. If you're in the South, summer is trash. <laughs> I just spent like a week, week and a half in Austin in the summer. It was like 104 degrees every day. No, that's trash. That's super trash. But uh, summer in like the Northeast or like in Montana is gorgeous. So I think my favorite season might be like springish. I think it depends. Depends where I am. Lori said that coffee tastes horrible. I cannot have an opinion on coffee because I've only had it once when I was 19 and I got sick and never had it again. But I did used to like coffee flavored like ice cream and stuff and coffee milk. Have you guys ever had coffee milk? Do you know what that is? It's not just like coffee in milk. It's like a specific thing that I think it's really popular in like Rhode Island. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I only ever had it because my roommate in college, my first year and a half that I dormed and went away to school, my roommate was from Rhode Island and she would bring over coffee syrup. It's literally like chocolate syrup but it's coffee flavored, but that you'd put in milk. So instead of like making chocolate milk, you'd make coffee milk and it tasted delicious. That was really, really good. But actual coffee, I don't even really know if I actually know what coffee tastes like. I don't know. So I'm just gonna say, yeah, you might be right. Coffee probably is horrible. Tuscan Alley Cat said, the movie Scream is not a horror movie and it's not scary. Baby. <laughs> Scream is one of the scariest movies to me. I think the scariest movie is Final Destination. That one's terrifying. And Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That one's also terrifying. Like kids just like disappearing in a chocolate factory is terrifying. Scream though, I thought was so scary. Like really, 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 really scary. But also my threshold of scary in terms of movies uh, is very low. I don't like scary movies. I'm not a scary movie girl. So even like the movie Scary Movie, which was like a parody of the movies like Scream and stuff, even that scared me. I can't watch any of those things, but I'm a wimp when it comes to scary movies. So maybe it's not like a real scary movie. I guess I can understand that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Someone said, Pickle and peanut butter sandwiches are divine. First of all, I like your use of the word divine. A plus on that. Pickle and peanut butter? I would honestly try it, but I can't have peanut butter right now. Have any of you guys ever had pickles and peanut butter? I like saying pickles and peanut butter. Like I like saying that together. It's a fun sentence, but it doesn't sound great. It doesn't sound great, my friends. I don't know. All right, this person, oh, all right, she has a bunch. Okay, I don't like Halloween. I don't like it either. No, you're like glorifying the devil and scary things. I don't like that at all. Golf is boring. Do you mean playing or watching? Cause I'm just gonna say yes on both probably. I've never actually like played golf, but it looks boring. I don't know. But like, I, I know people who love it. So maybe it's fun. I don't know, I like mini golf. Peanut butter is gross. This person says peanut butter is gross. So maybe you should not try the pickle and peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> maybe you should. That, maybe that's how you'll like peanut butter. And then uh, this person said, but marshmallows in milk is yummy. Marshmallows in milk, huh? I never even thought about doing that. But if it's good in hot chocolate, which is just chocolate milk, really, so why wouldn't it be good in regular milk? Okay, all right, Th that makes sense. I'm on board, I'm on board. <gasps> Someone said baseball is boring. Did you hear my little gasp right before I said that? <laughs> I love baseball. I do understand that some people think it's boring, but I love it, I love it. Someone said I'm disgusted by monkeys. All monkeys, what did they do to you? What did they do to you? Do you have like a specific story? Like I need the backstory of this. I need you to tell me if you're watching this, tell me in the comments, like did something happen? I, I need to know. I feel like that just, just does not come like out of nowhere. I feel like you have a story. I need to know. Someone said I hate wine and someone else said I don't like the taste of alcohol. That's fair. I think wine tastes fine, some of it. I think some wine is not very good. But I remember the first time I ever had a beer 
And I've literally only ever had a beer once because very shortly after I found out I couldn't have gluten, but also I didn't like the beer anyway, so I didn't like go out of my way to find gluten-free beers. This was also like 10, 12 years ago or something, like in like my mid-20s. I had a beer and I remember it being, dis I had to like force down. It was disgusting. And I'm like, I feel like people who say that they like beer are lying. <laughs> Like maybe you get used to it, but that's even weird to me. Like why would you want to drink something that you have to get used to the taste of it? That makes no sense to me. That's why I, like if I'm gonna drink, it's like White Claw. I'm like they taste good. I think they taste good. But I think some wine is gross. Some wine I think is gross. But I think some alcohol, it's very hit or miss. Very hit or miss. I think a lot of liquor is gross. I can't really have liquor anymore anyway because of my esophagus. But like tequila by itself, no, thank you. No, 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 no. So I get it in, in some ways, in some ways for sure. Someone said vanilla ice cream is better than chocolate. I kind of agree with you. I kind of agree with you there. Mm -hmm. Carrie said, I only crave ice cream in the winter. <laughs> That's funny. I really like that. I wonder why. <laughs> That's so fascinating. Do you just like being cold? So you want like extra cold? I don't know. That's really funny. Oh, okay. This, this is like a, like a strict one. This girl said, I hate cheering at events. Clapping is all you'll get from me. No yelling, LOL. I like yelling and like being loud and stuff at events, but are you just sitting there? I imagine you sitting there like, like very proper clapping. <laughs> I can imagine it, I can imagine it. I like being loud and stuff. Like last night I went to go see my friend play at a bar uh, downtown Charleston and I was like, woohoo, like the whole time. Like, I think it's fun. But I just imagine you being very like golf clapping, proper, you know? That's what I imagine you doing. All right, this one. I heavily agree on, heavily agree. Someone said adults can have stuffed animals just as much as kids. You guys know how many stuffed animals I have. I fully agree. I fully agree on that. <laughs> I love my stuffed animals, right bubs? Right bubba? Love my stuffed animals. So yes, 100%, if you want a stuffed animal or even any toy or game that is geared towards kids but you like it as an adult, do it. You guys know like I like the sticker books. Um, if you like to do like paint by number but you want to do the kids versions, not the adult versions, just do it. I like it. Uh, yeah, 100%. Kim said that watermelon is gross. Okay, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Sometimes I do buy watermelon and it tastes gross. So I wonder if all the times you've had watermelon, you've just always gotten a bad one. Like yesterday I had a watermelon and it tasted really, really gross. So maybe you've just always had some of the bad ones. But like if you get a good watermelon, it's delicious. It's delicious. Someone said avocados are overrated. <laughs> Here's the thing, I love avocados, but I do kind of understand what you're saying. They got really popular. It's like avocados became trendy, which is so interesting to me. Like how does a food become trendy? Boggles my mind. So I kind of understand what you're saying, but I also really do like them. But I understand that they got like real trendy, real, real trendy. All right, let's do like two more. Brittany said, I hate music. She said, it's just repetitive noise, so annoying all music we're gonna go back to the beatles conversation earlier do you hate all music do you not like anything i really like i need all of your answers in the comments of this like do you agree with these do you not agree with these and if you're the one who said this i need to know your backstories because i know you got them all right last one is from matt and he said that he thinks it's perfectly acceptable to dip corn chips in ketchup I don't know how to talk to you anymore. Because <laughs> he's like, well, salsa is made from tomatoes, so why couldn't you dip your corn chips in ketchup like you would in your salsa? I understand that logic. And the thing that sucks about this is I can't have tomatoes anymore, so I can't even go try corn chips with ketchup because I can't have tomatoes anymore. So I can't have ketchup anymore. So I can't even try it. So I'm just going to say that it sounds weird. <laughs> it sounds weird. Maybe your mouth is weird. I don't know. But it sounds weird, but I also kind of understand the logic of it. I kind of understand the logic. But then that's also kind of like, okay, if you're gonna have a caprese salad, tomatoes and mozzarella, what if you just take a piece of mozzarella, put ketchup on it? Are we saying that all tomato flavors are interchangeable? Can you put ketchup on pizza? I'm just asking, I'm just asking. Are you gonna put salsa on your hot dog? I'm just asking, are they all interchangeable? Is this like a whole thing that we really have to discover now? Are all tomato-based products interchangeable? Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious your thoughts. Um, yeah, but I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed just this little silly video. I like doing these every once in a while. Um, so let me know in the comments everything that you thought about these. And if you have an unpopular opinion, please let me know in the comments. I would love to read those as well. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.